What's up, guys? Welcome back from the MLG offices in New York City. I'm Axel Toss. I'm joined by Axlab. You're watching the XMG Balance Test Pro Invite, where eight players were invited to a single elimination tournament. Quarterfinals, best of three. Semifinals, best of three. Finals, best of five. And there are three maps that all the players will be playing on. And all these maps include the potential balance changes that Blizzard is thinking about right now. That's right, of course. Those balance changes, a quick run through. Oracles are faster. Yep. Burrowed Roaches are faster. Siege Tanks shoot faster in Siege Mode. Widow Mines at the exteriors of their AoE damage do slightly less damage. I think those are pretty much the big ones. Yes. Oh, oh, and um, Terran Air and Vehicle upgrades are now combined. So when you upgrade your vehicle, uh, if you upgrade tanks, Hellbats and, and Vikings and Battlecruisers and Banshees, all share the same attack upgrade as well as armor upgrade. Only two upgrades now in the armory affect all air and mech units alike. There you go. Lots of changes to consider, of course, for this specific matchup. Broad Roaches being a bit faster. TLO had a lot of fun with that in the last game. He is your Zerg player in the red in the bottom left-hand location representing Team Liquid. Of course, from Protoss' point of view, Oracles are the guys who got a little bit more zippy, move a little bit faster from the beginning, and then once they reach their top speed, well, the top speed is faster as well. Of course, your Protoss player in the top right-hand location in the blue is San. Have to see if he uses more oracles. He certainly uh, enjoyed using them in game number one. He definitely did, and he was he was very good with them. Now, the first oracle he lost, but after that, he just got a lot of damage done. He also had to pull them back, use them for envision quite a bit. Uh, we'll see if he goes for that same strategy this time, because... The Burrowed Roaches really caused him a lot of problems there, you know. Uh, just pure Blink Stalkers, in theory, works great, but as you spread out, it's hard to cover every location because you have to have detection everywhere, right? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sure you can put a Photon Cannon, but the Roaches can come in there. It's not the Photon Cannon. It's hard to have an Oracle or an Observer at, at multiple locations because of the gas cost uh, and how gas-intensive that main Protoss army is. So... We'll see if he goes for a similar strategy. It looks like San is going for a, a different opening with a faster Nexus. Uh, maybe hoping that TLO will go for that three hatch before pool build. But TLO, upon seeing the probe scout uh, that came out of him early, uh, of course, uh, is, is getting to pool before hatch because he knows that that probe can be really annoying and, and prevent early hatcheries. Uh, just using its its body to get in the way. Yep. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Nice ninja tactics there from TLO. Did a bit yeah. of a juke football style. Ended up taking that hatchery. Map is Yansu Ladder Edition. We're also featuring a new map in this tournament called Alter Zim Stronghold. Indeed. Of course, that will be the third map for the series. TLO is up 1-0 to zero in its best of three. If San wins this map, yep. we'll get to see Alter Zim Stronghold as the third and final map. Alter Zim. I feel like we should say it in a funny way so it becomes standard since this, this is the first people are going to be seeing of the map. Okay. I'm down with that. If we get to game three, we'll theorize about that. But I think that's a good opportunity. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you know, a pretty standard Nexus first build here from San. He's probably gonna get yeah, there goes the double gases. Coming in from our Protoss player from Korea, we do have TLO getting the third hatchery down. Uh, again, uh, pretty normal reaction to seeing his opponent going nice. for Nexus first. Going Econ. Wants to get those drones out. Wants to get those extra bases out. So you can make a bunch of stuff. He did get a gas right after that third hatchery, which is, um, it's not abnormal. But sometimes Zergs go gases for a little bit longer to get additional queens. We can see TLO, uh, his extra queens are delayed. He's still only at one queen with no additional queens in production quite yet. So down a bit by getting that extractor. But of course it does mean he's going to have faster Zergling speed to compensate. Meanwhile, both watchtowers belong to these little creatures here known as the Zergians. They're so cute. Look at these little guys. Mingle Bing. That watchtower is his. No one else can take it. And he gets a bunch of nice juicy vision across the map. Which is always good. Uh-oh. There is a stalker being chrono boosted out. And oh a probe my. leaving now. That probe, I believe it's going to be spotted by TLO. He does see that leaving the base. He's going to have to make sure to keep tabs on that. Does not want the proxy pylons go up. Uh, but it's not going to be mass gateway attack. Teal, although he hasn't noticed, he's keeping an eye on these gases again from the Protoss. Very important uh, to tell if there might be a gateway attack coming in or not. Sees those are being taken. Meanwhile, he has found that probe. He's trying to run it down. 
Probe's like, leave me alone, man. I did nothing to you. You know, that argument, it was about something else. It doesn't apply to us right now. Uh-oh. Probe trying to be saved by the stalker here, but in fact, uh, Probe doesn't double back. He's going to run straight back to the base. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll make it home. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Zergian may pay for his... Ooh! That's what you get from messing with Probe's. He was a little cute Zergian now as a blood spatter. Yep, Stalker taking revenge there. Of course, the map of... Being a good big brother. Yep, that's exactly what Stalkers do very well. TLO trying to take down these rocks. Very important to take them out as soon as possible for easier access between your natural and your third location. Meanwhile, a very fast third base coming down from San. TLO poking into main for a sky and also poking into natural. Sees okay, he's on four gas, he's getting a Stargate. But has he identified the fast third from San yet? No, he hasn't. That's actually a very important thing to identify. These speedings will probably check on it as soon as they're done killing the rocks. But it'd be nice to send one or two out there a little bit earlier. Meanwhile, Oracle coming down. That's going to be spotted uh, by a speeding. He's on a patrol pattern. You know, or someone on, on, on Reddit made a, a Ferrari picture of the Oracle. That's cool. It was really cool. You know, they're they're pretty much like Ferraris now. Yes. Before, they were kind of like your, 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 your normal, you know... Chevy Lumina or something, or yep. Chevy Malibu. Now, now they're pretty much a Ferrari, or at least at least a Corvette. Uh, we do have that Oracle back in away now. Three drone kills. It's gonna wait to regenerate its shield and energy before it goes in for some more. Do have meanwhile San trying to defend this location, or at least delay any Zerg attack by taking out these rocks. Here come the speed. Means Oracle spots them. They're looking for a third base. They don't see it there. Still has not yet spotted the actual third. Sentry's going to hold the front, and here they come in, but the Nexus is done. Photon Overcharge could be... I think it should be, be fine. I don't see him losing yeah, his Yeah, with the cannon there. He's trying to force the Photon Overcharge and pick off probes, but... I love how Sound is new. There's no point in Photon Overcharging. Yep. Um, oh, but they're going to pick off some reinforcing probes. That's a nice move, or, or are they? Yeah, it's TLO trying to be as active as possible with these with these Zerglings. You know, once you make them, how much do they do for you? And we got Burrow. Burrow on the way. Roach yeah. Warren about to finish. Yeah, he's getting uh, the Roach speed. Oh, yeah, second Roach Warren, so he's going to get both upgrades at the same time. This is going to be a Roach Max, uh, not the 11-minute Roach Max or 1040, probably more like 1130 Max because of the upgrades going down. Okay, we're going to test your theory here, by the way, because he's going to have four Roaches out before Tunneling Claws is... Wait, Tunneling Claws... No, no, oh, oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tunneling Claws would have to finish before Roach speed. Yeah. Okay, never mind, so we won't test your theory. And he'd also he'd have to burrow it so you could see the... Yep, um, yep. All right, here we go. A an attack from Som before TLO can really get his roaches on the field. He was droning up aggressively. This queen has a transfuse, but it's being focused down. Oh, it burrows. Awesome move there. The drones could all burrow as well if they wanted to, but they're just going to hang around mine, getting chopped up by zealots a oh bit. Oh, my God. Look at all those zealots. Oh, There's so many. So the roaches many. trying to make their way down. Um, I think the hatchery's dead. Uh, if he wants, if he wants to kill it, it's dead. It depends how uh, much he really focuses on targeting down. Looks like he is going to target it down, and that's a very big blow to TLO. Now, if he mops up all these zealots, there could be room for a counter attack. But Son, he's already revealed Burrow. I think. Oh, and the Oracle. Sorry, misses. It got to the natural. Got nine kills, and it spotted the double Roach Warren. So. Uh, there's no there's no mystery of what TLO is doing. San knows exactly what's going on. It's unfortunate because you'd love to see how good this build could work against a fast third. Um, but unfortunately, in this case, you know, it, the God. build's been revealed. And Those are burrowed roaches. Look at how fast they're going. <laughs> yeah. They're going, I mean, the same speed as a void ray. Look at that. Same exact speed as a void ray. Of course, they can be seen. Um, you can see, like, the blurs under yes. the ground. Similar like Dark Templar advantages. Look how quick they regenerate too. The Voiders can't really kill him. Okay, um, he's gonna unburrow, but I'm not sure what he can get done right here. There's oh, two the units. Yeah, he wants to kill the Robo, but does Yulu want to sacrifice his army to do so? He realizes that he would have to lose everything to get it. Coming back now, but Void Rays with Prismatic Alignment. Those are four Void Rays. Oh! Gets the Robo, but loses all of his roaches. Yeah, is, is this worth the Robo? Yeah, it's Thilo not. decides not. He's like, you know that that probably wasn't worth it. He lost his third base behind that, lost a lot of Jones in the process as well, so. San's going to tie up the series. Yeah. Nice little adjustment. I mean, th I think the main thing was the big zealot attack into the third base that TLO had no idea about. Yeah, you know, TLO saw that the third Nexus, and he immediately built something like 15 drones, and then he spent all the resources on the upgrades, but he didn't start any roaches yet. So it was just, I, I don't think, I think he assumed San would play passive, and San's like, I can take a third. I'll, I can recall out if I need to. I'm just going to see if he's ready. 
and he was not. It was worth it. I mean, took down the hatchery, took down some drones, and again, not to mention the Oracle that made his way into the natural, killed nine drones. So Tilo was in a position where his economy was shattered. He had to make something with the army that he had, and he did something with the army. He killed his opponent's Robo, but beyond that, he couldn't do much, realized the situation, decided to GG. So that means you do have a tie series 1-1, which means we're going to jump into a new map. Game number three. On Alters, Alters, Alters M. Alters M Stronghold, Alters M it will stronghold. be. Tilo versus San, tied one to one. Game three coming up.